Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome to episode one of my new Let's Play, uh, Super Mario Galaxy. So, let's start off with this nice, I guess, prologue. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you from Peach. All right. So, welcome to Super Mario Galaxy. This is episode one, and uh, we're in the prologue. So, yeah, let's just get this done with, the prologue. Uh, it's not really that complicated storyline. Princess, get, princess getting, you know, just getting snagged again by Bowser, as you can see right here. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. Gwahaha! <laughs> the this festival's over. Alright, so let's just continue on by going... Oh my god, I just did some levitation powers right there. I don't even care. Let's go to uh, the castle. Help me. Alright, I'll help ya. Good old Mario here is gonna help ya. Don't worry, princess.
enjoy your flight. That was very eventful. Oh, the star just turned into a bunny. How original. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. What? Let's play Super Mario Galaxy? <sighs> so funny. Alright, but no. Let's just go over here. Because we're going to play with the bunnies. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you where you are. Or about where you are. But it's essentially the same difference. Because they're not going to tell me anything to begin with. Oh. I think I hear some rustling in this tube. You caught me. That's damn right I caught you. Shouldn't have hide in... Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Hide in the crater? Well, I guess that means one of them is in the crater. If one of them thought about it, the others must have. Well, I only saw three there, so they're... Just... God damn it! I hate these bunnies. They're so annoying. There. Gotcha. You caught me! No shit I did. Aw, I knew I should have hid it in the crater. Alright, so what's so special about this crater that I'm hearing a lot about? Aw, I'm always tilting my head to, con you know, to counter this camera angle. Like, I'm not saying this is a bad camera angle at all. I'm just saying I'm always tilting my head, you know, kind of... Like... My head's always tilted when looking at, at this. Like, I can't play this game without tilting my head a little. Is that the crater? The crater's where... The crater's, like, where it always gets me. I don't know where the crater is. Apparently they do, but I don't. Is it by the little village area? Right there? Nope, apparently not. Oh, but that's it. There's another bunny in the cr Why did I go all the way back there? Get the bunny, get the bunny! You're gonna get tired eventually. When you do, I'm gonna catch ya, because I hate these bunny hide-and-seek missions. But forget about that for now. I can't believe I get- I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. Mama? Mama Luigi? But no, 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 no. When they say Mama, they mean Mama. Not Mama Luigi. They mean Mama. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you need to power. Wait, wait a minute. You'll need the power to travel through space. I was just stopping my computer from turning off, sorry. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. You're entrusting me with his care. So he's taking care of me is what you're saying? Alright. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. 
May the stars shine down on you. And this Luma gives us our main ability in this game. The spin. That's right, the spin. Like that. You know? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I know, I just did that! I just did that! I just did that. Breakables. Alright. Get in the middle and spin. Oh, I got them all at the one same time. There we go. Oh, is that, that a... That's an airship over there. One of Bowser's airships? I wonder. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star ready, but a meteor smashed it. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips and I might be able to fix it for you. No promises though. Um, also don't fall into the... the black holes. An additional one up. Splendid. Nope, not into the one. <laughs> not into the black holes is what he said. The black holes are probably not the best solution to beating a level in this game. Alright, and spin to get inside of this thing. Well, uh, looks like we saw one of those Luma things trapped in there, so why don't we go find some way to get it out? Oh, apparently not. It looks like I'm gonna have to talk to this. Get me out of here. One of those enemies should have a key. You can shake the Wii Remote to spin. I know that already. This is something I've come across already. You are no help to me. Oh, but there's a key right there. Alright. Let's just talk to this thing again. Thanks. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there, too? I'll transform into a sling star and just jump in me after I transform. I didn't actually read that. So, may have gotten the translation mixed up, but that's okay. Because everybody makes mistakes. And dear god, what is that? I want to kill it. Looks like that's the thing with the key. So let's just go inside. That pipe. Because that pipe looks inviting, and since I am a plumber, I must go inside of the pipe and not work at it. So, what what do you have to say? Because you're ob obviously blocking my entrance. Hurry up. Fair enough. I'll go inside with you. We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. Looks like it's making something. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Alright. Maybe these buttons do something. Maybe. But that's just a maybe, guys. And girls. And potatoes. Oh my god, I was just doing this. So, let's just get on all the buttons. Not get hit by you. And turn this machine off. Oh, apparently the machine implodes when you press all the buttons. Why they would make that a feature, <laughs> I'll never know. But, it is. Which means I have obtained... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. A grand star. All right. So this grand star will allow us to go to other areas in the game, which I will explain in a later episode because I'm not explaining them now. But because there's no time to explain it right now, so let's just get this and. Uh, You got a star. Grand Star Rescue. Gateway Galaxy. High score updated. 
and now I have 37 star bits, which I will explain later. And I discovered a new galaxy in the Terrace. Alright, fair enough. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, but maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Com Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also a home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force has latched on to us, onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. That's gotta be Bowser. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one the one that is working right now pow is powered by the power star you just restored. And this one is the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's power to f fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with star power. Or power stars. Does it really matter what I say? Yes, I would like to save my game, and uh, that's actually going to be it for this episode. Sorry for getting a little sloppy at the end, I just had to redo this episode twice because the microphone was not working. And you couldn't hear me. So, I was getting a little bored by the end. But that's alright, because in the next episode, which will not be uploaded straight after this one, uh, maybe actually five days later, this is just kind of like a preview. Um, I will be actually doing some missions. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.